Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil with me, Alex Fu, and well, here we are at the Mama Go Garage where I left you guys last time, and we are here to pay Isam, Hal, and I can never remember the third brother's name for something that might help us jump over those little those little obstacles. Hmm. Actually, I'm wondering now, because I've never thought about it. I could, in theory, buy the flight stabilizer and just... I don't know if we could just skip out on the jump kit altogether, but I want to get the jump kit anyway, because if I screw that up, then we're kind of... we're kind of really screwed. Um... Because we'll have to get 15 pearls, which we can't get. At least, not right now, so... We'd be a bit screwed if it ends up we can't get into the beluga, and we don't we don't quite have enough units for the mecha impulsor right now. So we're gonna come back a little later because this is well. If this if this was an anime, this would be a filler episode because later, you know what? Friends. We're spending this entire episode just racing. But now that we got the jump the jump jets or whatever they're called. We can go get some more pearls. And some units. Well, I mean, not from here, of course. This is just on the way. But, let's see. Okay, I made it. So basically what you want to do, it showed it for a second, is you want to press X. And you're going to want to jump over these things. Which, if you hit them, they'll take away like a quarter of a life. But if you run, as you can see, they shake back and forth. So it's kind of hard to judge the, dis judge the distance, especially with their reflection of the post, so you think they're a little closer than they are. I've had so many times when I've just run, jumped a little too fast and just had my hovercraft keep running into them so that, you know, I kill myself within like five seconds. Which is the only way I've ever really killed myself in this game. But yeah, more looters! I'm gonna steal some, some units from us and we'll just chase them down. Same thing, just make sure you beat the doors. It's going to start getting a little harder, because now we're going to have to start using the jump jets for these kind of puzzles. And we'll just keep on his tail. We're probably going to have to use some boost capsules now, though. Especially when we get to the later doors, because as you can see, I'm cutting it really close even right now. Let's see if we can even make that one. Yep, okay. Usually if you don't run into anything, you will be okay, but... If you don't run any, into anything and you can keep full speed the entire time, you'll usually be okay, but I'm not that good. <laughs> I'm not that good at getting it just the right way on the first time, so there might be a couple of times when we might have to even retry things. So if we do, just bear with me. But hopefully we'll just use the boost capsules and be okay. Like this one right here is one of the ones that might get a little tricky, if I remember correctly. See, come on, make it, make it. Ah, we made it, so we're okay anyway. And here we go. Just blast them out of there and get that pearl. And as you can see, we've got a few pearls missing, but and you're probably going like, Oaks Fu, what are you doing? We're missing like 20 pearls, probably. Well, don't worry, we're gonna. We're, I know what I'm doing. I've played this game before. We're gonna, we're gonna get them. Don't worry about it. Alright, well, there's nothing over there, so what we're going to do is. The secret There's entrance is in the third racetrack of the slaughterhouses, Miss Jade. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, and I'm not. I'm, I'm going to press back to read, but it's exactly the same thing. I just want to get rid of that little pop-up. Before we go anywhere, though, there is a whale, a whale with a tail, over here that we want to get two thousand credits for. Easy money, easy money. So, the time is the money. Time is the money. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? You're killing time! Well, time is money, and if you're killing time, then that means you're killing money, and that's just sick. What? We're nowhere even close to him. How did that knock us out of the way? Oh, well, whatever. And we're gonna get a little warning, like... We're now leaving territorial waters, but who cares, because we're not really. We're just going into this cavern, so... Screw that guy. Don't let him get away, Miss Jade! And we'll just chase down another looter for his pearl. You know, a hundred credits, a uh, hundred units. 
for a, a loan of 100 units for a few for a few seconds, that's not too bad. If anything, this is going to be the one that I'm going to screw up on, and we're going to lose the 100 units. But again, it's only 100 units for a pearl, and it's not that bad at all. So, but I'll keep the boost capsule handy. We're cutting it really close right there. It's like it's like you're shaving. It's like you're shaving, and then you realize how close you are, and you put on a boost capsule, but then you realize it doesn't do anything because it's a boost capsule and you're shaving. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I shouldn't have even boost it there. Basically what happens if you is you don't really need to boost while you're just chasing them down. You only need to boost while you're chasing the electrical current to the door because while you're chasing... Oh, uh, we're not going to make it that time. Oh well, we lost right. 100 credits. Not that bad. Oh well, we'll just try it again. Watch. Just keep going straight. I'm surprised I didn't... I'm surprised I didn't miss last cave, but whatever. Let's just go. Go for it. But like I was saying, you just need to beat the electrical current. And while you're not racing the electrical current, you can go as fast or as slow as you want. There's other you're just chasing him to a a cave at the at the end, so he's not going anywhere. It's linear path, so... Yeah, I... As far as linearity in this game, I mean, it's a pretty linear game. But... Oh well. <laughs> I don't even know why I brought that up, but who cares? Oh, man. So, yesterday was quite an amazing day. Um, it's my birthday. Um, when... Oh, by the way, this is recording... May 15th, so it's Sunday. I'm talking about 14th. Right? Yeah. <laughs> What's 15 minus 1? Oh, it's 4. Ah! Ah! Let's use that so we don't freaking die. Yeah, those things will slightly chase you, so... I think we're screwed anyway. I think we might have gotten... Yeah, we're screwed anyway. We hit that little thing while we were being tossed about by the explosives, but oh well. We'll just try one more time. We can do it as many times as we want. If I have to, we'll cut out. I'll cut out race, races if I still if I keep being crap. Um, but no, yesterday, um, because my birthday's coming up, um, this coming Wednesday, it's gonna be 21, and my friend, my other friend, he had his birthday just earlier this month. Uh, I think it was the second. And another one of my friends had his birthday um, back way back in February, but none of us were able to get together because, you know, it's school. And we just weren't able to get together. Uh, we decided to have, like, this big birthday thing for the three of us, kind of like we did last year, actually. And it was just great. Everybody showed up. Everybody, we, everybody brought food. It was all sorts of delicious food. Ah, come on. Can we make it? Oh, come on. Well, one more time. Let's let's keep doing it. It's that one curve right there. I keep hitting it or something. Let's repair this, too. No use sailing in on a broken ship. We've lost, like, 500 units already, but whatever. It's not like we can't just get some more. Get some mores! <laughs> Which we did some, some mores yesterday. But... <laughs> We didn't really have any sticks, so they kind of turned out. We had those giant marshmallows that are marshmallows as big as your fist. So <laughs> they're kind of ridiculous s'mores. Um, but yeah, my fr one of my friends uh, made the cake for us, and it was absolutely amazing. It was a, a really sweet chocolate cake, first of all, but then she. Um, use fondant to make it in the shape of a trunk, using Rice Krispie Treats for the roots, which alone is was pretty amazing to look at, but then she made a brownie Totoro out of, well, brownie and fondant, and I'm gonna miss this again. Uh, there's another hundred units. See, the door right after this one isn't that bad, but I keep missing this one. Like, this is the only door that ever gives me trouble. Like, when I recorded this last time, I got right through it. I didn't have a, any problems.
But anyway, she made a fun and, and, and uh, brownie Totoro to put on top, which was absolutely amazing looking. And then she just scattered um, companion cubes and turrets from Portal. Uh, not companion cubes, um, personality cores and turrets from Portal and Portal 2. Um, made a fondant all around the all around the trunk, and everything was just absolutely beautiful. And I couldn't have asked for a... That was one of the most amazing cakes I've ever seen in real life. And if you're watching, and you know who you are, I'm, I'm just gonna say it again. Thank you so amazingly much. That was amazing, and I can't believe that you spent eight hours on that cake. Because that cake was absolutely stupendous. And we made it! We made it! And we're gonna die! <laughs> Actually, we didn't die, but oh well. The key is to break, and we'll just fall him down the chute, and we got him. Take that! Give us back our big. Give us back our units. I think we get an extra 100 units from him too when we kill him. So get some extra back, I guess. No, I think we only get the hundred, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. You are now leaving. Territorial waters. Final warning. I want to get some of these because we just lost like 500 units. <laughs> um. Oh, hey, look! What's that over there? Is that is that? No, not that. What's that over there? It's some sort of lighthouse. It looks kind of familiar. Because it, it could it be our lighthouse? Oh. Oh my God! That was an amazing day yesterday. And my girlfriend made me the most amazing thing. She made me... Ah, no! See? Exactly like that. That's exactly what I'll do. <laughs> Except that time I actually stopped in time. Um, she made me the green fungus from Moyashimon by hand, a plushie. And it's just amazing that she was able to do that. It came out so well, too. I mean, I, I still can't believe that she did it. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna listen to this and be like, "Oh, you like it so much and everything." Well, next time, as you can see, we can now go back this way. So next time, we're gonna explore what's back here and maybe do a couple more races. So I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil with me, Oxfoo. Take it easy, guys. <laughs>